just a quick unboxing of an order that I received from um, Farmer Gracie's. So this is just um, a really small um, perennial order. Um, I think if I remember rightly there's about four or five um, different items in here. So I'll open the box first and go just sort of quickly show each thing and show you how it's packaged and um, how they've all arrived etc um, and then I will talk you through each individual plant and what it looks like and why I bought it. <laughs> one is called Buckeye Bell so it's a herbaceous perennial which basically means it dies back each year um, and then re-emerges in the spring and um, the flowers are a semi double so it's not just single petals but it's not like um, the really sort of voluptuous fluffy and um, really double peonies that you can get um, it produces in late spring and early summer and um, the petals, the, well the flowers are a deep ruby red with a centre of golden stamens. I chose this one specifically because it's meant to smell really nice and um, it's got a really gorgeous scent and apparently it's a really prolific producer as well so I'm hoping um, after it's established, which will probably take two, maybe three years, that I'll be able to, to cut a lot of flowers from this one. Here we have another peony. It's Coral Charm, and the tuber looks great. It's already got, it's already started sprouting, which isn't actually always the best for replanting. But we'll see how it goes. The tuber itself looks amazing. Um, so this one is another semi double um only it has orange salmon petals um that sort of fade to coral and apricot and apparently it's got streaks of lemon through them sometimes um this one i think it smells nice but i mainly chose this one for the color um and again it's really well known as a cut flower um again a great producer lots of um, blooms on one plant um, but I'll also have to wait um, again the two three years for it to be established before I can cut from it. Okay and this one is um, Delphinium Rainbow Sensation it's actually part of the Highlander um, series that's bred in Scotland and they're really tough and really hardy um, which is great um, as you can see, there's some nice root growth on that. It's supplied as a, a loose root, I think. That's what you call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, really amazing plants. Um, so each flower is a full double. And um, they have pink and lilac with sort of these creamy green centres. Um, and it's a fairly new... Um, um, variety and um, yeah I'm really excited for this one this will be my fourth delphinium I think I've, yeah I believe this will be my fourth delphinium that I've added to the um, to my collection of um, perennials for cutting Okay, and the first of my two lots of um, gladiolus that I um, purchased, and this one is called Sochi. Um, as you can see, these are corms, and they're delivered in a paper bag, and these ones are huge. And they look they look really good. Um, I was looking through them, and I noticed that some of them even have a little bit of growth already, so that's great. Um, and I chose these ones um, because they're these really gorgeous, ruffly 
peachy apricotty flowers um with and it's described as having gentle apricot shades with dolloped with thick cream <laughs> um but yeah as you can see it's kind of like peachy apricotty on the outsides of the petals and then as you get towards the center it's kind of a cream color okay and last but not least is um gladiolus um cote d'azur i probably pronounced that really badly um but again lovely corms these ones are a bit smaller than the sochi um and the flower itself is just a really simple lilac-y purpley flower um but i chose this one um because again um as i've mentioned in previous videos i'm looking um i'm looking to establish a uh, a real sort of collection of sort of purpley mauvey lilac-y plants and i know that gladiolus are mainly a uh, sort of mid to summer flower however i had some of mine um blooming all the way through into like late summer um early august so we'll see these might just come up in the summer but you never know so thanks for watching